Welcome back. We return to the return of Oprah Din with me and my wife, Marshall. The very end of last episode, we were sort of in the middle of memory one of the calling. So let's continue what we were doing. Mm, I think the very, very last thing we did is we unmarked this person as O'Hagan because we weren't actually sure about them. Yes, but we were fairly sure about that dude being, um, no, uh, that dude being this one. Irish. Yes. Yeah. And when we watch his death, we will really try to listen if he's the, he's, he's Irish sounding. Yeah. Death gargles are Irish sounding. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, yeah, I think we looked at this boat, but I don't think we've looked at this boat. Nothing to see there. Pipe person should be there. Yes. That's pipe yes. person. And that is the one that we marked as. Alexei Dobrov, so you're right, that's that. Yes. So they're definitely marked correctly. Mm-hmm. No idea who the fuck that is. <laughs> yeah. And then that's the captain. Yes. Well, not the captain. The second mate? Uh, yeah, second mate. Edward Nichols. Okay, so let's go to the next part which body do we need for that um look at where they di died hmm that's not terribly helpful part two they died into part two right Ye or their body is in part two I yeah yeah i guess they died in part two is that person here they must be yes that that's them okay oh wait but that's not their body Okay, where, how do we get to their body? Oh, I gotta go out and go back in. Man, this... The calling sucks. The calling sucks. The way to access the body is just blows. I guess we can... Should I go back into this memory or one of the other ones? I, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm sorry. So which one did we want? It's not the first one. That one was the die, the one that died first. I think it's that one. That is no, no. That's the steward. Is there? Are they missing from this boat? Oh, oh, they're in the uh, that boat. Right, that one. Yes. Oh, that's not. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. I totally forgot. Okay, so that'll take us to part two. Yes, perfect. Two brains are better than one. I think I heard like two Irish accents. Yeah. Let's. Can you see who spoke? If that person who died spoke? Give us a weapon. That was an Irish accent. Okay. So, actually, does, does that mean Euro Higgin? Hmm. Does Mayhaps. I, like, who else is from or, Ireland? They're the only one. Yeah, it's either that or the second mate. Second hmm. mate Stuart. Yeah, there's also Scott. Scotland. I have hard a hard time telling the difference between Scottish and Irish accents sometimes. Uh, same. The, the purser. The one that handles money? Or something? Or the ship's stores? I have no idea. I'm sorry. Let's look in the glossary. Accounts for all cargo value and trade transactions. It manages a small items store for crew. I kind of slightly suspect that it might actually be the purser. Okay. Because of... Because of this. You packed enough stores? Aye, sir. Checked and loaded them myself. Mm. I mean, anybody can load stores, so that's not exactly definitive, but that kind of feels to me like that could be the purser. 
because they manage that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So is this really their assistant? Like, I'm pretty sure they're wearing the exact same stuff as the other stewards. Yeah. Like, look at that. Same yeah. shirt, same group. I guess it makes some sense that they'd be on this other boat in front of the chest because that's like the most important thing they want to protect. Yeah. So they wanted their probably closest ally. Mm, that would make sense. Trying yes. to protect it. Yes. I'm going to say this is the purser. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The game will confirm it or not. And who's the one without my P.O. Hagen? What? Who's the one without my P.O. Hagen? Or none of them now? Um, I don't think there's anyone we think could be O'Hagan. Wait a minute. You're... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, You're all marked. You're marked. You're the one we can't figure out. Do we know if they're Irish? We no. don't actually know no. that they're Irish. Mm -hmm. You we've already figured out? No, we don't know who you are. Yeah, I think we're just probably just one of the Chinese workers on the ship. Yeah. That got kind of roped into it against their will. Yep, there's like three or four of them. We were wondering if we got their cause of death wrong. Like, I think we see them getting clawed, and we know that they get dragged into the water. Yeah. What exactly happens to them in the water, I don't know, but I think they died from being clawed. <sighs> Or maybe they die from drowning. Hmm. It could be. Is that an option? Yeah. Drowned. At the yeah. bottom. Okay. Let's wait until we see the rest. Mm. So, part two. So, part three. And that's the death of the second, of whom we assume is second steward, and we really need to listen what their accent sounds like if it is Irish indeed. Yeah. Okay, we'll get the dialogue right now. We'll get the dialogue right now. Okay, so there's someone else called O'Hagan in the boats. Yeah, so somebody's O'Hagan. Isn't it probably that one person? And I think they very plausibly could be Irish, the, the person who we heard speaking. So that really does make it seem like they are their steward. Especially the fact that they're like addressing Nichols directly, like they know that Nichols the one. Yeah, Nichols, sir, shoot them for God's sakes. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we could be. I think we're like ninety-five percent sure that that is the steward. Yes. And does that mean we're pretty certain that they? Wait. Oh, Hagen's gone at this point. Oh, oh, oh! So, so actually, so that's how we know that the person behind them was O'Hagan. This person, or no? Because there was a person that got uh, was between them that got dragged dragged into the water, right? Yes, but maybe they were talking to the other boat. They wouldn't be talking to the other boat and saying "row for God's sake," no. would they? Because that wouldn't help them at all. So that person, that person is O'Hagan. Yeah, because they're facing away from O'Hagan, so they don't know that O'Hagan is gone. So that's why they're asking, is O'Hagan still? O'Hagan, can you still row behind me, O'Hagan? So we need to go to the previous memory to confirm that O'Hagan, that the person is behind them. Yeah. Oh, and this is what I wanted to mention, too, about if you look really, really close, you can see they are being stabbed. Oh, yes. Gotta look for it, but yeah, they definitely were stabbed. Yes, in an earlier memory, I remember seeing a knife on the... On the ground. Yeah. Hmm. 
Oh my god, the cats are all over us. <laughs> Purse are still plausible. Plausible. I definitely don't feel confident about that. I do now, since we know that O'Hagan was in the other boat. I feel more confident that they were probably Scottish as opposed to Irish. This person? Yeah. Okay. I also wonder if we could maybe see O'Hagan's body like floating in the water or something. That would be very convenient, but I think we have to go back to a memory. Something subtle like that might tell us that they drowned, maybe. Though they could have died from being clawed and then the body would just float. I think you would die from drowning before you would die from clawing. Alright, who's number one again? Is it you? It's this person, right? Yes, but can we just go to the person we assume is O'Hagan's memory? Oh wait, but right, we can't yeah. find him, right. We have to go to the first memory, you're right. So yeah, it's that. I don't think we ever actually see their body. They just disappear. Yeah, so that person is O'Hagan. I think we should change it to drowned. Because okay. drowning stops oxygen, more oxygen coming to your body immediately. Versus clawing meats to make you bleed out, which takes a lot more time. Yeah. So did you change their, did you change their cause of death? Yeah. Okay. So part four, we did part three. Part five, eat bang. So is it at this point only nickels and this guy? Oh, nickels switched over to this boat. Yeah. Yeah, just those two. Huh. So... So the two that were on this boat, like... They were just dragged into the water. Yeah. The one that was stabbed here, the first one to die, they were definitely killed by the spear. Mm hmm. Were the other ones, like, obviously killed by a spear? Somebody on this one was killed by a spear, but I wonder if I should mark some of the others' d death as drowning. Like, we just don't know. Yeah. We'll have to assume, I guess, that it was probably drowning if they weren't speared. Yeah. Like, the person with the pipe. Did he just disappeared. We don't see his death. He just disappeared. We just see them getting dragged into the water, right? Did we? We did. Let's go back to that one. Okay. I guess that's probably in number three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they hadn't been stabbed or anything. They just were dragged into the water. So, yeah, I say either drowned or clawed. Let's go with drowned. Yeah. Do we have a cause of death listed for them? No. No. Drowned by a beast. I feel like if we're getting these right, we should get a match. Very soon. Were they confirmed? Yes. yes. 
Yeah, you definitely died from being stabbed. Speared by a beast. Yeah, they were speared by a beast. You were speared by a beast. O'Hagan was scratched and then dragged into the water, so he said drowned. Hmm. Okay. Do you have the stewards? Can we check the stewards' information again? Who we assume is the second steward? Knifed yes. by eating pinks, yeah. All right, let's go to the last one, the one where they approach the ship. Haven't seen that one in a long time. Mm. Maybe this time we can tell who shot them. Yeah. I have treasure! I yield! Hold your fire! Ah! Ah! This time we know who shot them. It makes sense that they would shoot them. Because yeah. they dragged these two, Boon, Boon Lan and Eat Bang, uh, took them hostage. Yeah. So... Now we can mark Nichols's um, death. Shot by Jelton. Ooh. Yes. <gasps> yes. Okay. Who did we get right? Correct. Who's correct? You, of course. Mm hmm. Okay. That is yes. the steward. Fuck yeah. And Alexei Toporov. Hell yeah. Got the. Fucking pipe dude, right? I'm epic. I got the pipe dude right. You are. Does that mean we got O'Hagan wrong? Uh, how did? What did we mark as O'Hagan's death? Was it drowned? Yes. Was it drowned by a terrible beast? Yes. Okay. And then there's also the purser, which is very much just a maybe. Could this be the purser? <laughs> Do we want to try that or? <sighs> Let's look around here first. Their body's just left here. I don't know who that is. It's one of the mates? Fourth mate, John Davies. Nah, whatever. Yeah, not much here really to go on. Um, I guess we could go back to the memory where he's like, oh, hey, can, can you still row and see if there who is still up? And then maybe like if the person in the other boat, the unknown person in the other boat who you think right now is the person, if they're still up, we could maybe think that they are O'Hagan. Part three. Part three, so you. O'Hagan, you're still breathing? Can you roll? Nichols, sir, shoot them for God's sake! I don't hear any splash of like O'Hagan going overboard. I don't mm. think that one's O'Hagan. Yeah. And it can't like I don't it can't be you. You look Chinese? Yeah, I think they Pretty sure? plus plus they speak Chinese. So. Oh yeah, right, right. They did speak Chinese. So then it it must be you. The one I thought was the purser. It must be them, yeah. right? Cuz that's a Russian. Yeah. That's Nichols. Yeah, okay. That's O'Hagan. Um 
I should unmark O'Hagan. The false O'Hagan. <laughs> Get out of here. And they were speared by a terrible beast. Yes. Okay. Does that mean the other one probably is the purser? Do we th like? I feel like it's a pretty thin thread to go on to say because they check the stores themselves. That means they're the purser. Mm, yeah. That's not very strong. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't know. know. I feel like that'd be a guess. Yeah, that would be definitely. Maybe we should follow up on what memories they appear in. Yes. First memory is in a bitter cold. Ah, oh, they were probably like sleeping. Ah, oh, they probably were. So would that not tell us anything then? Well, we could look at if we can see his face. If we can't see his face, then we could look at all the bunk numbers and then we'll make a list of possible names for him from there. All right, so I came up with a theory for a terrible cold, I think was the name of this chapter. We have these three Russian people um, playing cards, and we know that they're Russian because they're speaking Russian amongst themselves. And we looked at the list, and there was like two seamen that were Russian and one top man was, that was Russian. And we couldn't name them because we didn't know who was who. But it turns out that the pipe smoking dude is one of these Russians. So now that we know who the seamen are, and now we can tell who the other seamen is, and we can name the top man. And we think that the two dudes in white shirts are seamen, and we think the one in a black, all black outfit is top man. Yeah, so the one we identified smoking the pipe, they're a seaman, they're right here. This is one of the other Russians who's wearing the same outfit as the seaman. So, safe bet they're also a seaman. This is another Russian wearing something that looks a bit different, so they're probably the topman. I think that's pretty solid. Yeah. How? Those says three difficulty. Uh, so this is the seaman, the Russian seaman. Love me some Russian seaman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the person that died on the boat. That we thought was O'Hagan. Oh, shit. It is, isn't it? Yes, it would make sense, because they were behind Pipe Dude. Yeah. Or not, they weren't behind Pipe Dude, but... Do you think the third Russian was there, too? But we identified uh, no. everybody now, right? No, I think only those two were, because they're both seamen. And oh, yeah. so they were low enough rank to be kind of controlled like that. Yeah, that makes sense. And you. Don't know who killed you. Where did you die? Escape. Maybe when we got back to it, we'll know who killed you. Yeah. We've identified a lot of peeps. Yeah. And now this whole exercise of looking at all the bunks is useless because we were looking for that person to name that person in particular. And now we've done it. Good point. <laughs> wow. That was really good. That was a really, really good idea for me. Yeah. Okay, going sequentially to the next chapter. We're going to start on Unholy Captives, Chapter 5. Starting with Chow Tan and whoever this is. We haven't identified them. Unknown person. Lift and what the hell is going on? What do you know about these things? About the chest and your dead friends? Shell? What shell? Yeah, so they were killed by the beast. I don't know why I never marked them as being killed by the beast. Huh. Yeah, maybe just another one of forgot forgetting to go back to it. Yeah. They were spiked. Yes. Ah. Oh. Oh. Yes. We got 
Oh, hey, Yin Wright. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. And we got the Russian dude right. Hell yeah. Fuck yes. We're making really good progress. Ooh. <laughs> My music's so satisfying. Yeah. Maybe at the end of the game, we have to solve our own fate. <laughs> because we died. <laughs> dun dun dun. <sighs> okay. So, uh, let's look at the dialogue. Lift this out and take a blow, somebody says. What the hell's going on? What do you know about these things about the chest and your dead friends? About the chest and your dead friends. Uh, they might be... Maybe they're talking to this guard. Yes, I think so. Right, because we know they brought the chest on since day one, and it kind of sounded like they sort of knew it was maybe cursed. Yes. So what the hell do you know about it? What are these monsters? Where are they from? You must tell us everything in Chinese. So I think that's the Chinese seaman. Probably talking yes. to the Chinese guard. Yes. The shell must be protected. Something about the shell. I guess maybe that's the guard. Yes, that is. The Saying guard. the shell must be protected. Talk about a shell, very dangerous. Shell, what shell? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it says that they said that. Mm. Wait, did they say all these lines or just yes. this is your fault? This is all those lines. We will all die. Okay. Oh, so are they getting the boats back up right now? Oh, yeah. Yes, that's what it's about. Okay. Yeah, this is immediately after. Mm. The previous chapter where they shot them and they're bringing the boats up and hauling everything up. Yes. Yes. Hmm. The one we think is Maba. Yeah. They're a topman. It's safe to say these people doing grunt work like this, grunt work like this, are probably topmen or seamen. Yes. How many topmen and seamen do we have left? Oh, a lot. Mm. But those are mainly um, Chinese. Yes, from Versa. It's quite a few just seamen as well, though. Yes. England's. What's Sierra? Where's Sierra Leone? Um, Leona. That is in Africa. I think kind of north west ish. Third mate. John Naples. William Hoskoot. Oh, um. So these are all probably seamen, right? Yeah. They're all operating this wheel. William Wasim? Mm hmm. Ah, Lars Linda, the one that murdered one of the. Murdered somebody at the Dane because the Dane, they think the Dane killed their brother? No. No? Yes? No? Or were they the one that was clubbed? I think they were the one who was shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're the Dane. They're the Dane. Abraham that. Akbar. Unknown. I don't know. They don't look Chinese. No. They're probably a seaman. So if they're mm. not a Chinese seaman, well, there's no Chinese seaman, actually. <laughs> oh. Probably not from Africa. No. So they're probably one of the four from England. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. We still need to figure out which brother is which. Yes. The Peters. But yeah, I have no idea who this one could be. Surgeon. Yeah, they pulled all the boats up. They've got the bodies in here. What happened to their hand in between being burned and then being on board? Just got gnawed on at some point? I think the light that came out of the chest just burned his hand over, hand's flesh away. Oh, that might be it, yeah. Because the light came out and killed all the beasts. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you're probably a surgeon's mate, aren't you? Yeah. I thought I identified the surgeon's mate. 
Did I not? I did. Maybe it's wrong. Yeah, were they confirmed? I don't think so. Um, I can tell that by going to the crew. Surgeon's mate. Yeah, they are not. With it. Oh, you totally just identified ba them based on being close to them in the picture, didn't you? Oh, yes. I don't know who you are. You're the surgeon's mate. I think this is the person that was also in the room with the surgeon when they were one of the um, Indian seamen were dying from an illness. Ah. Uh, That'd make a lot of sense. Yes. You again, straight man. You fucking... Who the fuck are you? It's interesting to me that they're over here. Yeah. In this group, which... These are all... Chinese, right? Um, Chinese and Taiwan. Yeah. Taiwanese people. Or Formosan. I don't know what Formosa... <laughs> People are called Formosan. It doesn't really matter. They're like technically not existing anymore. <laughs> so then why is this person over here with them? I mean, they could just be there stopping them from doing anything. Yeah. But there's something special about them. They're not just a normal, like, lowly seaman. They're yes. in some position of some authority. I don't know. You're the bosun, right? Yep. Is his cause of death marked? No, you haven't marked his cause of death. No, we haven't seen their body. They didn't die here. Yes, they did. Wasn't there two bodies there? D two bodies where? In that chapter. Isn't that chapter about these two bodies? Oh, shit. Also, they have an earring. Hmm. Um. Yes. Oh, you're right. I did see the blood coming out from the back. I thought they got wounded, but like it didn't look like it was fatal. But obviously it was. Okay, so they were spiked yes. by a terrible beast. I guess they can't be spiked by an angel. <laughs> so they look black. Yes. They have an earring on that could be used to help identify them, possibly. Uh, Sierra Leone, maybe. You think they might be that one? Mayhaps. Like, who are they hanging out with? Like, they're just playing with a seaman, topman. Uh, we kind of just assumed. Unconfirmed. Topman. Yeah, unconfirmed. Probably a seaman. Yeah, they're just like a seaman or a topman. There's nothing like special about their position. I think they're most likely to be topmen because they wear dark clothes. And it looks like topmen tend to wear more dark clothes. Well, there's the one from Sierra Leona is a seaman. So, Omid Ghul? Persia? Mayhaps. Mayhaps. I think the earring is probably an important clue. Yeah. Should we leave it for now? Yes. Let's go to the dialogue again. Ah, I think we're going to continue. Yeah.